Boys, we're back with a big victory video. Bears go to London. They handle business. They mopped the floor with the Jacksonville Jaguars. Um, tight first quarter, but after that, man, it was really a blowout. Um, 35-16 to 16 winner in a game that they were ended up being a one-and-a-half-point dog uh, late in the betting window. Um, Jack, initial thoughts uh, before maybe I get into some of the Key stats and takeaways from the game. Four and two, man. Great start to the season. Um, like we've kind of mentioned a couple times, it's probably maybe not exactly how you drew it up uh, as far as where the wins and losses actually came from. Uh, but four and two, nonetheless, I think that was, um, you know, I, 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 you know, given the way that this team has looked, I think there probably was certainly room to win that Indianapolis game and maybe be looking at five and one. Um, but four and two is solid uh, with the rookie quarterback under center. Um, and, you know, he could not have looked any better uh, on Sunday in London. Uh, first rookie quarterback to ever go over there and win a football game. Um, I mean, the growth that we've seen in him, uh, week after week, the progression is, um, you know, it's very noticeable even to uh, an untrained eye like myself. Uh, and I just couldn't be happier about it uh, and the direction that it's moving overall. Um, I know the yards weren't necessarily there on Sunday. I think he had, you know, maybe around 220, 230-ish with another 50 on the ground. Uh, but the four touchdowns, the only real bad play was the one just abysmal uh, interception that I'm sure he'd want back. But something I almost uh, sort of like about that was that that play occurred when the Bears, yeah, they were up already, but it was 7-3. to three. Uh, The game was still, you know, very early, very much in the balance. It was a big play for the Jaguars to get some momentum back. Our defense steps up, forces a quick three and out. We get the ball right back. And after that, we just score every possession the rest of the day, it seemed like. Um, I love how Caleb Williams, um, yes, made the mistake. Great. Uh, get it out of your system. Don't repeat it. Learn from it. But I just love how he bounced back from it. Wasn't scared at all. Wasn't deterred. Didn't impact him negatively uh, in any way, shape, or form. He went right back out there and was ready to do his thing, and it was beautiful to watch. Uh, great win on the road. Um, you know, I know it counts as a home game. They keep that home streak, uh, home winning streak alive and well, which is great to see. Uh, keep that tw under 21 points uh, in the last uh, 12 games now streak alive. Another beautiful thing. Um, once again, the only uh, negative I take away from it is the same negative I took away from the game prior with Cairo Santos. I, that guy is going to cost this team – down the stretch of the season, it's like a, it's a movie we've seen before, and I don't want to watch it again. Um, I don't think they will, just because it doesn't seem like there's any urgency to, but I would love to find a, a solution at kicker, because he, like we've talked about, he's accurate, sure, um, but he doesn't have the leg, he never has, and now he's seemingly becoming less and less accurate, um, I don't know. I It would be uh, extremely frustrating and all too uh, upsetting to have a team like this uh, maybe outperform, uh, you know, arrive a little early with Caleb Williams potentially truly being a franchise-type guy out the gate um, and to really cost yourself a chance at a completely wide-open league, a wide-open NFC Um you can't convince me that the teams that are ahead of the Bears are uh, head and shoulders above them. Uh, so, you know, you got to get that. You got to get your ducks in the row. And I uh, can't have something like that potentially costing uh, a little bit of a magic run. Yeah, man. Quick shout out to you um, with your three keys. Our show continues to know the Bears better than any podcast, show, whatever you want to call it in the world. Um Defensive streak, under 21 points. They kept it. W. Uh, offensive tackles, they only let up one sack to the edge rushers. I know, I think there were three sacks overall. But one sack to the edge rushers. Tackles did their job. And they avoided a catastrophe. Uh, like you said, 
the one pick was really bad, but um, that's all that happened. It was essentially a, a punt to a certain degree. Um, you know, it wasn't like a bad uh, fumble for a scoop and score or some crazy shit like that that really flipped the tie. It sucks. You don't want to see it, but at the end of the day, it's – not a catastrophe in my mind. It was it was a bad interception. Um, yeah, you you talked about Caleb. That's the story of the game. Caleb Williams coming out party. Bad Jaguars pass defense, but man, he looked like the best quarterback in the world. Um, he looked incredible. That seam pass to Keenan Allen, the placement on that ball will make anybody who knows football excited. The placement on the fade to Keenan Allen was incredible. Uh, the play design on the first touchdown to commit was great. The second, uh, the play design on the second touchdown commit was great too, to be honest. Um, between him, Waldron, uh, DeAndre Swift, uh, everything you want to see out of the offense. The offense did their job. They looked great. Yes, a bad Jags defense. Yes, do we want to see it against some average to good NFL defenses? Sure. Um, but I'm telling you, man, this offense. They, they're proving that they can beat bad teams. They will get to the point where they can play against the average and, and, and good defenses too. At, you know, And maybe not 35 points a game, but to where they're getting to 24, something like that. And if you do that coupled with our defense right now, we're going to be a dangerous team, man. Um, I said in a group chat that there's one team in the playoffs right now that would scare me, and that's the Chiefs. Other than that, you could beat anybody. Um, maybe, you know, I'm not saying they're going to be them 10 times out of 10, but four out of 10, five out of 10, anybody, um, I take this Bears team. So, uh, I really like what I'm seeing overall. Um, we do got to see it against some more quality opponents, but there is growth every week. Um, part of the growth process will be doing this against some better teams. And after the buy, they'll have a chance against the Washington team that is getting a lot of national media love. Um, they do have a coach that's been to a Super Bowl before. Um, lost the Super Bowl, but been to it. Um, and that team's playing pretty good ball. They're in good form. So it will be a good test coming out of the bye, I think. Um, they'll have a couple more games to to get things right before hitting that divisional stretch. But it's hard not to be excited as a Bears fan, man. Um, love everything I'm seeing and nothing more important than what we're seeing out of quarterback. Absolutely. I going off what you're saying about, um, you know, the opponents. Yeah, it's a fair point. I mean, I think the the stat is the combined record of the teams we've played is uh, four and 18. It's no secret, sure. you know, but that's your schedule is what it is. Right. And let's be honest about it. Like we talked about after that Panthers game. It's one thing if you're beating these bad defenses, winning these games, you're you know sneaking them out like they did against the Titans, for example. Right. right. Um, you know, but they're blowing the brakes yeah, off these them. teams. They're NFL teams, man. This isn't college football. No. Um, it's it's really impressive the way that they've done it, uh, regardless of who the opponent is. You don't just walk in uh, on any given Sunday in this league and smack people by 30 on a consistent basis. Uh, that's what they've done these past couple weeks. Uh, and it's great. And then just really quickly uh, going to your point um, about the tackles uh, kind of feeding off the keys we mentioned before the game. Um, I do got to say, I've been, you know, pretty, um, pretty uh, vocal about my disappointment and lack of, uh, understanding on why anyone thinks that Darnell Wright has shown anything positive in his career in a bear Jersey. Uh, but last weekend might've been his best game. Um, I don't know, you know, I don't not necessarily sure how the offensive lineman graded out or anything like that on the advanced metrics, but just the eye test watching the game. Um, he was, he was playing, man. He was, he was out there doing his thing, um, keeping Caleb clean for the most part. Uh, and, you know, as bad as Jacksonville pass uh defense is their pass rush is 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 okay on those edges they make some plays uh the tackles definitely uh stepped up and held up their end of the bargain to get it done this weekend absolutely man couldn't agree more um all right they head into the bye uh after the bye we'll be back with the video previewing the the washington game um curious how washington does this week against the panthers um 
you know, it could be a look ahead spot, I guess, but you would think with a rookie quarterback, there is no such thing as a look ahead game. Um, so we'll see what they end up doing, but but yeah, I, I'm in, I'm interested to see how they do against Commanders uh, before a couple of uh, teams that they should be favored against for sure, and before they get in that uh, divisional stretch. But four and two heading into the bye, uh, I think even from an optimistic viewpoint, this is where you wanted to be. I think five and one was a little bit unrealistic if people were thinking that out there. I think four and two is great. Um, let's just keep let's keep seeing them grow and keep seeing them get better and uh, that defense keep humming, try to stay relatively healthy, um, keep doing their thing. And I think this offense is is starting to do their part too, which is which is uh, what's needed if they're going to try to make a push for the playoffs. Um, Jack, any last thoughts before we head into the bye week? No last thoughts uh, are just you know, kind of like you touched on all, all uh, good things going right now. And I think that, you know, you tow the line of, you know, do you want the buy right now that you're riding a little bit of momentum? Caleb's really starting to come into his own, show some things. Um, but I think the buy comes at a perfect time, man. They're right at the midpoint of the NFL season. If you want to, you know, including when you ramp up the training camp, they were in training camp for, you know, about six weeks, whatever it is. Uh, they had the extra week because of the Hall of Fame game. Uh, now you're six weeks into the regular season. You get your bye and then you'll come out. You know, you still got 12 more weeks to go. Um, so I think it's a great spot for the bye to come. And given some of the injuries that our secondary is tasked with right now, I think it's a great time for the bye to come and for that secondary to get healthy, heal up, um, come out of that bye fresh. We have three very winnable games. Got to take care of business. Need to, at the very least, go two and one, yeah. uh, in my opinion. And, you know, take it one at a time with the commanders coming out. But I think that things are setting up very well for this team to do something special. I agree with everything you're saying. Uh, I think it's a perfect time for the bye. They're catching it right when they need it. Like you said, get these guys health healthy, get them right, um, get get readjusted back from that London trip, and uh, be ready to take on Washington um, at, at the three twenty five or four twenty five if you're on the East Coast. That midday slot on uh, a week from Sunday. Um, all right, everybody out there, enjoy your bye week. Uh, enjoy the NFL slated games or your weekend away from the NFL if that's your thing. Uh, but enjoy yourselves. And uh, we'll be back next week with some more best bets and some more uh, a Bears preview video as they take on Washington. Jack, hit it for him one time. Mm, Bears.